Kyle, I can't put in enough time to this right now. I'm, I'm very busy with work. I'm swamped. I, I just, I don't have time to dedicate towards this right now. Okay, dude, valid point. Kyle, I can't get good with girls. I'm too short. I'm too ugly. I don't have muscles. It only works if you have tattoos. It only works if you're 6'1". one. only works if you look like a Chad. None of this is actually gonna work. It's, it's all about looks. It only works if you're a millionaire. Guys, I just wanna let you know, whatever your excuse is, it's valid. It's a valid excuse. You are a busy ass dude. You are a short dude. You are a fat dude. You don't have tattoos. Whatever the fuck is the story you're telling yourself right now as to why you can't get better with your life. I'm not even talking about getting laid. I'm talking about your life. I'm talking about your discipline, your success, your charisma, your look, your social life, your dating life, all of these things, right? There's a story going on right now in your head. It's probably one of those excuses. I hear all these fucking excuses. And I had a combination of all of these two guys. I'm five foot eight. I wasn't that attractive. I was shy, antisocial. I was obsessed with video games. I had no confidence with women. The only girl that I ever got with became my girlfriend for five years. And then she left me for another dude. And I thought she was out of my league at the time. So the one girl that I actually attracted who was out of my league left me for another dude. And I was pretty much down to rock bottom, square one, not knowing what the fuck to do. And I had all of these stories in my head about that was the one, I'm never gonna be able to do better. I'm never gonna get good at this. All this bullshit and all the dudes I've ever helped, they all have a story. I was on a, I was on a live coaching call yesterday with a client who was gonna join my high-end program back in January, but he, he had all these excuses. And so he's like, let me just start with the lower tier case study group. Cause I got stuff I need to do for right now. But when the time gets better, I'll then go into the, the, the one-on-one -on -one tier. I said, okay, cool, man. Got him into that group. That was in January. So we, we were just on a call with him yesterday, which is, you know, we're in the middle of April at this point. And so what, three months, three and a half months have gone by. And I asked him, dude, you haven't even made any fucking progress. This is literally, this is how I talked to him on, on the coaching call. I said, bro, you haven't made any fucking progress and it's April. What's the reason? What's, what's the story is what I actually tell the guy. I was like, dude, what's your story? Okay. Like what's your excuse? I said, oh, well initially, cause initially he said, well, yeah, like, you know, I I'm working on my look right now. I got to lose some weight and grow out my hair. And I said, dude, do that. You're going to be the same fucking dude. Why don't you do that while you work on this shit? Oh, uh, well, you know, let me do that first. So I'll go into the lower tier for right now. Okay, cool. Here we are, three and a half months later. What's the excuse now? He said, well, I'm waiting to move out. I said, okay, why haven't you moved out? Well, I have uh, really strict parents. I said, okay, but like what? They won't let you move out? He said, it's complicated. So, okay, so why don't you start taking action now though? Like, why don't you start going out right now? Well, I'm not really allowed to go out. I said, I I'm not talking about the bars. Like, why don't you just go out? Like, where can you go? I said, really just the gym. I said, okay. Why don't you bring me recordings of interactions at the gym and the surrounding areas over there? Well, I, I'm still working on my look. What the fuck? What the fuck? It, it, he just had this cycle of excuses. But it's not until somebody like me said, dude, what the fuck, dude? What, what is the holdup? I didn't even, like most of you dudes, if I ask you that, you'll have a story. But fortunately enough for this dude, I had to talk with him three and a half months ago. Now we've gone through the story. It's been three and a half months. I said, bro, you haven't made any fucking progress. Do you get that? Well, Kyle, like, you just don't get it. Like, you you weren't raised with a strict upbringing. Like, you don't understand my parents. Dude, I don't, I don't care. And this is what I told him. N not, I didn't say it because I, I'm not a, trying to be a dickhead to him. I'm telling this to him because he needs to hear this. Just like a lot of you dudes need to hear this too. I said, bro, I'm not saying you don't have strict parents. I'm not saying you don't have it hard. And I'm not saying like your excuses aren't valid. They're valid. They're valid as fuck. Everybody watching this video, I'll let you know right now, like your excuses are valid. They are not 
I, I'm not gonna say fuck your excuse. It's bullshit. It's all you no, know, no. Like they're actually valid. Like I hop on consultation calls with dudes that are like, Kyle, I'm busy as fuck right now. I don't want to do this. And, and we break down his schedule, and I'm like, dude, you are busy. Like honestly, you're a busy dude. Congratulations. I, you get the stamp of approval from from Coach Kyle. You officially have a certified busy schedule. Now what, dude? That doesn't change anything though. Do you get that? Like, like I think you guys have this story so you can tell yourself it's okay as to why you're not at the level. That's not, that's not valid. The excuse itself is valid, right? Like it's the truth. You're a short dude, you're a fat dude. <laughs> you're not that good looking. You're too, you're very busy. Those things are all truths. However, that doesn't, that doesn't excuse you from leveling up and becoming the best version of yourself, man. The dudes that get to the top, get to the top in spite of having those things. Is there somebody out there that has an easier upbringing than you? Sure. Yes. Is there a dude out there that's not as busy as you? Yeah. Cool. What the fuck does that mean though? Do you get it guys? Like, is it making sense in your head? Is it making sense? If you're a short dude, bro, I'm five foot eight. My head coach is five, five. And if you're gonna be that fucking dumbass that comments in the, in the video, well, I'm five, three. I don't care if you're fucking four, three. I don't give a fuck. You're gonna have to go out. Okay, are there certain women that won't be attracted to you? Yeah, it is what it is. It's, that is the truth of it, dude. Are you gonna get success in spite of that? Okay, you're busy as fuck? Cool, let's look at your schedule. Damn, you're working 80 hours a week, bro. Cool. That still means, even if you slept eight hours a day, that still means you have 32 hours a week available. I'm not even saying to put in 32 hours, dude. But my, my high-end program, I tell guys three to five hours a week. So you could work 80 hours, <laughs> and now you still got 25 hours to go fuck off. And then you still got eight hours a night to sleep. So what the fuck is still the excuse now? Because here's the thing, any dude that's working 80 plus hours a week, bro, I know you're not actually locked in in a flow state for 80 hours out of the day. Like you actually need to take quick breaks throughout the fucking day, man. And if you're watching this video, like clearly you're not that fucking busy, dude. You're commenting on my YouTube, you're not that fucking busy. You're, you're on a consultation call with it, you're not that fucking busy, man. You know who's like super busy? The one dude who DMs me like, I don't got time for that, but like, I'll just pay for the program. Okay, cool. You're actually busy. <laughs> and, and you understand the fucking process, right? But the short guy, yeah, dude, you're short. So what? The fuck, what does that change? It doesn't change anything. Most of you dudes that complain about your height, you're somewhere between like 5'4 and 5'9. I even, I even have dudes complaining to me. There was a couple guys that got on a consultation call that were 5'10". They're like, yeah, but I really want to be six foot. Shut the fuck up, dude. Even if you're 5'6", shut the fuck up. Most girls aren't even 5'6". Do you get that? Like, look, it's two girls just walk by. They're shorter than me. I'm 5'8". Okay, 5'6", five, 5'3". Five, is that girl? That's a random batch of women. Most girls are between five foot and five six. Like, dude, I've dated girls that were four eleven. I, I don't care if you're four eleven. If if you're eye level with the girl and you got good nonverbals, you're fine, dude. Put on some fucking heel insoles and some Chelsea boots. Put yourself up three inches taller than with whatever the fuck you're at. Shut the fuck up and work on your confidence and communication. You're a shorter dude. Okay, you know what that means? It means you got to be a little bit more buff. You got to be a little bit more authoritative. You got to be a little bit more decisive, a little bit more confident, a little bit more commanding with your vocal tonality. More than you would need to do than a six foot three guy. Cool. You're, you're a fat dude. Okay. Fortunately enough for you, you don't need any extra. You don't need any extra expenses. All you need to do is eat less. No extra money. Just whatever you're putting in your mouth, cut that fucking thing in half. That's it. You're an ugly dude. 
Bro, go on YouTube and look up how to look more attractive. They're giving it away for free. It's, dude, the answers are out there for free. It's not about the answer though, it's about the mindset, dude. You don't have the right mindset. If I, right now, pulled my brain out of my head and put it into your body, in eight weeks I could fucking change your life. You would be an absolute monster eight weeks from now. Because of the action. I would do all of the work that you're doing in your day to day, but I would also do some kind of communication drill. I would also analyze myself on, on video or record myself interacting with people throughout the day. I would find 15 minutes throughout my day, go to a busy area, pull out my phone, press record while it's aimed at myself, and I would talk to five to 10 women for somewhere between 15 to 30 minutes, depending on how busy I am, right? Maybe I do it for 15 minutes. I go to the, I go to the busy area, I go to the, I go to the empty mall. I've done this in New Jersey in empty malls, in, in fucking Bumblefuck, New Jersey. Talk to five women, it took me eight minutes. In Bumblefuck, New Jersey. Dudes out here complaining, oh, there's no hot women around me. Bro, you're not even fucking ready for a hot girl, dude. I know why there's no hot women around you. I get, I get why there's no hot women around you, bro. So if you're short, it is what it is, dude. Wear something to make you a little bit taller and work on these other elements. If you're fat, eat less. If you're ugly, dude, it, it's probably because you're fat. I don't know most dudes that are actually lean. That have, like if you're lean, you have a decent amount of muscle mass and you can take care of your grooming, that cures like 90% of you. You don't need to be a stud. Like I've been unattractive before in my 20s. And even in my 30s, it just, there's a pic of me a year ago. I looked fat as fuck. I was up to like 200 pounds. Right now I'm 160. Imagine me with 40 more pounds of fat on me. I was fat. I would still go out and be able to create attraction. Fat, short, busy, ugly. Fix these things, dude. Work on them. All the answers are there. It's the mindset, it's the action that's going to get you past those things, dude. Wake up, <laughs> wake the fuck up. You gotta be, look, this dude's right here. You can't give a fuck about what the people think, man. So look, you're one of these in this video. If you're watching it this long, if I just think about any client I've ever had, any dude that struggled with this, you know what it is? Most dudes don't even complain about this shit. They don't, like I have guys that are in my lower tier case study group and I asked them like, yo, how's the week going? The thing is, they make a tiny bit of progress and they think it's like, great, that's the problem. Is that they go up and they do one approach. They're watching videos on diet so they think they're getting better. But if I actually analyze their life, it's like, okay, well dude, like what's your daily fucking routine looking like? What time are you waking up? How much time are you watching TV? Playing video games, smoking weed, overeating, hanging out with friends, doing nothing whack friends that you don't even like and they don't even really want to see you win like how much interaction are you actually getting the dudes that lack social confidence and i could say this because i was the same fucking I'm, I'm right there with you man i'm 34 like i've been doing this for a really long time but if i look at me 10 years ago 12 years ago dude like i thought i was taking action because the story that i was telling myself was I'm getting better at this. Before I just played video games. Now on Friday night, I got into a couple interactions because I got drunk. That was the story I was telling myself because I compared it to the old me, the, the previous story. But dude, if I look at most of you guys in your timeline and your story, it's like, it's like, dude, you're not moving fast enough. You gotta go harder. And if, if I'm saying that, and if, as I'm saying this, you're like, well, dude, I'm not just going to go fucking all out. Like, why not? No, like, seriously, why not? What's the story? I, like, look, I'm saying why not? Because I want you to say it to yourself and then hear the answer. Like, why not? Now, listen, when you ask yourself that, write it down. Like, 
go open a fucking piece of paper, open the notepad on your phone right now, and just say, why can't I go harder right now? Why can't I go all out right now? And then get ready because your brain's gonna start giving you the bullshit. But it's, here's the, here's the mind fuck, it's valid. The excuses are valid, right? Here's, here's the activity that you need to do. You can ask yourself, you write down, why can't I go all out right now? Next thing that's gonna happen, your brain's gonna give you the truth. Here's the reasons I can't go all out right now. Here's the next step. Gun to your head, gun to your family's head. What could you do this week to still get success despite those excuses or truths? Gun to your head. It's valid, you have valid excuses. Gun to your head though, despite that, how could you still get success this week? And then once you, once you write those things out, you'll see, wow, actually, I could do this. The only problem is you can only do it when your fucking family's life is on the line or if your life is on the line. So why does it take that level of urgency for you to take action? Think about that. I think about this myself too because I'm going pretty fucking hard right now. I'm, I'm stacking all of my activities like on top of each other to be as efficient as possible. Even me getting my steps in. I'm starting to record some of my videos outside just so I could get some steps in at the same time. Because I don't have time to just do my cardio. I need to fucking film the content at the same time, get the sunlight at the same time, right? So, dude, gun to your head. What is it? What's the thing? In all areas, I'm not just talking about cold approach. That's a big part of it, though. Cold approach is massive, not because you guys think cold approach is nothing because you go up and do a couple approaches and you get rejected and you're like, this isn't going to work. I'm going to spend all my time doing approaches. I'm not going to get the girl. It's not even about that, dude. It's not even about that. One of the, one of the most beautiful things about cold approach that I've been noticing by doing this every day, I'm on day 41 or some shit, 41 days in a row, sober, no alcohol, no nicotine, no weed, no drugs, nothing. And cold approach every day, daytime. What am I noticing? The most powerful thing, it's not about the women I'm meeting, surprise. Although there has been a lot of women that I'm meeting clearly. The most powerful thing is that every single day I show myself that my brain is giving me doubt excuses, making up bullshit, sending me misinformation why I shouldn't do the thing every single time. Even still, day 41, I see a girl and I'm thinking about approaching her, I'm like, the brain starts to tell you shit to not do it. But the moment you go up and do the thing, you realize, wow, it was all bullshit. That's the most powerful part of doing cold approach every day, is that every single day I show myself that the doubts, the concerns in my head are bullshit. And that's powerful. If you can show yourself that every single day, what do you think that's doing to the rewiring of my identity, my thoughts about my future, my financials, my limiting beliefs? I don't have limiting beliefs at this point, dude. Right? You know why? Because every day I beat down the limiting belief. The limiting belief is like, can't do the thing, and then I do the thing. So every day I show myself evidence I could do the thing. What do you think that does for my confidence? What do you think that, that does for me about how much I think I'm worth, how much money I think I could charge, about what my five-year goals could really be? It ties back to the story of you, dude. Your excuses, the story of you, it's all valid. It's all valid, man. You're right. Whatever the story is you're telling yourself right now, it's true. I'm not saying I'm giving you the stamp, bro. Stamp of a certified stamp of approval. Like you're right. You're busy. You're ugly. You're fat. You don't have tattoos. <laughs> you have strict parents. You had a tough upbringing. You have clinical depression. I don't, I don't know what you have a high level of anxiety, whatever it is. You're absolutely right. However, understand the guys that actually get better with this stuff. They get better with the stuff in spite of the valid excuses. All right, write down right now, why can't I get better at this? 
Get ready for the answers. Get ready for the bullshit. It's truth, but it's bullshit. Smoke cloud, smoke screen, bullshit story. Then, gun to your head, what would I have to do to get success anyway? Gun to my head or my family dies. Carl, that's extreme. Is it really that extreme, dude? A hypothetical scenario about a gun to your head to create urgency to get your fucking ass in motion? I guess what you need is extreme to get to that next level, dude. It's true, actually. You, What you would need is something extreme to spark that to get you to the next level. You can't stay the same and get to the next level. I couldn't get to the next level until I came out here. I needed to relocate. It was the next move. And now you know what I'm thinking? World Tour 2025. That's my next step. There's no way I would have even been, been thinking about that if I didn't already move here. One move got me to the next level, got me to the next action, got me to the next level, got me to the next mindset. Now I'm thinking World Tour 2025. I was just talking about it with my team. I'm fucking excited, dude. I don't even know what's to come from there. But it all starts with what I'm talking about right now. You gotta start putting your foot on the gas today, man. Today. Wake the fuck up. Look, if you want help with this, all right? Whether you wanna work with me one-on-one -on -one, or you don't have that much money to invest and you, but you still wanna get better with this, okay? I have one-on-one -on -one coaching. Links are in the description for the coaching program. You can apply. Or if you're on a tight budget, I have a phenomenal deal. We just opened up a case study group. Check those out. Get inside this stuff. You, you need to be around this shit more, man. Just imagine if you were consuming shit like this every day, what it would do for you. Because I know this provokes some emotion. For some of you guys, this jump started you. For a lot of you dudes, when this video ends, you're still back to your same fucking shitty life, dude. Links in the description. Check out the coaching programs. I want to transform you. I transform. I've helped 600 dudes transform. You could be next. Let's fucking go.